guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are brand new and you're just finding me. My name is Olivia and I'm so glad you're here and you clicked on today's video. I have a really fun video in store for you, but before we get into that, I just wanna let you know you can always find me over on Instagram and on TikTok at Olivia Frida Curves as well. I post a ton of content over there um, and I'm always on stories every day showing you behind the scenes, chatting about my life. Um, but I also love to know how you found me and you came across today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button today before you leave so you are here for future videos and you can hit the alarm bell so you get notified when I post new videos um, but I am really excited to share today's video with you it is a fun one it did really well last year when you guys were looking for new jeans at Abercrombie I am going to be also including a new jean haul coming up soon with Old Navy let me know other brands that you want to see for your jeans because I know as a curvy girl it is very very difficult to find a good pair of jeans jeans that fit the curves so we have an Abercrombie haul today. I picked up a couple of different pairs that are on the newer end of their styles. I wanted to find a few ones that I felt like I hadn't tried before. I will link last year's video down below because it is still relevant. They still have all of those styles available. I'm gonna hop right into it, but before I do, just letting you know my measurements. I am 5'9 and a half, so I am on the taller side, so I always tend to get Abercrombie in a long if I can, and I also wear a size 10 slash 30. And when it comes to Abercrombie, I know we are all so traumatized from high school days when for me personally, Abercrombie just didn't make clothes that fit my body. I was always so devastated when I would go in to try their jeans and they just really didn't fit. Like So they have rebranded. They are much better than they used to be and they have some incredible styles of jeans, especially the Curve Love line. I don't even go into the section that is not labeled Curve Love because it's not worth it to me. Like I know the Curve Love fits the waist, it fits the hips, bum and thighs, and it just is a great jean. So that is where I live on their website is in the Curve Love section, but they also have really great other clothes. So if you want me to try like their dresses or tops or trousers, like anything else, please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions or if you're interested in that but without further delay grab a snack get comfortable maybe grab a little cocktail let's get into today's Abercrombie jeans for fall 2021 I also just want to mention really quickly before I get into today's video the bodysuit I'm gonna be wearing is the same one for each jean um, I don't want to get too distracted with different tops but this bodysuit I just can't recommend enough I have had this one over a year now and it is just the best bodysuit I have ever worn. It's a shaping bodysuit. It's from the brand Yummy, and it is like a contouring type of shapewear where it really holds in your tummy section. It even for me has a little bit of shaping, I would say even in the arm area, like a really good compressing type of material. Just wanted to recommend this bodysuit before I get into the video. Okay, so first pair of jeans that I am sharing with you are my favorite. They are definitely the front runners for me out of this whole haul because of the fit, because of the way that these make me feel when I wear them, I feel super confident, and I just feel like I don't have a pair of jeans necessarily like these. Um, these are the uh, ankle straight ultra high rise, and I'm wearing them in a size 10 long, as I mentioned, and I just am obsessed with these ones. I have worn these already a few times. Uh, if you follow me over on Instagram, you definitely might have already seen them, but I just feel so great in these. They come up really nice and high waisted, as you can see, uh, but they work with the waist. So they are definitely a waistband that I think um, would kind of stretch a little bit with you, and I love that in a jean. I feel like it kind of holds me in if I want it to, but I also feel comfortable in it and not sort of like claustrophobic. I also love the tummy region because it does sort of hold me in a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but when it's a high-waisted jean, I think that's a nice added touch when it kind of like holds the tummy in ever so slightly, which is pretty nice. Now I want every wash of these. Like I want them in a lighter wash, I want them in a darker wash. I want all of these because they just are such a nice jean. And I feel like I, these are my sort of 10 out of 10 recommend because I just think that they fit the body so well. And I just feel like if you're gonna grab one pair from this haul, let it be these ones. But that's gonna do it for this pair. Let's move on to the next. Okay, moving on to the next pair of jeans. And I wanted just to share with you me pulling these ones on as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that for each pair, but it's just, let's normalize just putting on a pair of jeans and you're just kind of like pulling them over your thighs and your booty and everything. and totally normal. So once they're on, 
zipped up, they are put into place, and they're really kind of uh, fitting the waist, the thighs, and the bum really nicely. These ones are the, let me just double check, the 90 straight ultra high rise, and I really like these ones. At first, I wasn't so sure. I wasn't sure because they're, again, they're a longer look for me, so they're coming down to the ground. Um, and I am wearing them in a 10 long, so for me, I actually think these ones could be even longer a little bit. If they're gonna be a floor length jean, let's really have them long. So I feel like if you're shorter than me, then definitely you're fine, but five, nine and a half and above, I feel like we're scraping the ground a little bit for it being long, but I love them. I love the way that they, hum they hug the waist and they also hug the bum and the hip region really nicely and they're comfortable. So I'm gonna show you throughout this video as well, me kind of like, squatting a little bit, stretching out the knees, just because um, that'll show you like they're not a rigid jean. They are, but they aren't. So they're the type of jean where there's not a lot of stretch to them or give to them, but there is, if that makes sense. Like they're not ones that you're gonna wear that feel like a jegging and they're going to stretch out with you throughout the day. These ones are gonna hold their shape and they're gonna also hold you in, which I really like. And I feel like it's a, it's a total sign of a great quality jean. Yes. Love these, I love the fit, I love the vibe. Let's move on to the next. Okay, so next up we've got the high rise skinny. Okay, so these are, again, a traditional skinny jean, but with a little bit of a twist because they have an open hem at the bottom where it kind of flaps open um, so that you can see like a little booty peeking through or your heels, which I just think is really cute. And I envision like a heel kind of at the bottom, I just think would be so fire with these. I will say with these ones, they were a little bit of a struggle to get on. They are skinny jeans, so that I have to remember is like one that you're pulling up. It's like, a, it's kind of like fits you like a glove, like a second skin. And these ones definitely are that. So a little bit of a struggle for me to get on, which means maybe even I would feel super comfortable in a 12 long with these ones. Um, but I just, for the purpose of this video, got the same size across the board just to see how it varies. I actually think with these, a 12 would probably feel a little bit better. They fit nicely up throughout the thigh and they come up nice and high rise on the waist. Not as high rise as the other ones. The other ones, I believe, are like that ultra high rise, definitely come up higher along the waistline. These ones being a high rise, I actually think if you're someone who prefers like a mid rise, too high rise, these would be a great option for you. Um, they're still hugging the curves. I'm getting no gapping in the back as per usual with their curve love. And it's just a nice overall fit. I'm glad I got these as the wash because of that kind of opening at the bottom of the jean. I was so curious about that. It's definitely a very trendy style to be wearing. So I think these ones are great. I think if you are someone who loves a skinny jean, these are gonna be your best bet. They are also on the stretchier side compared to the other ones, even though it was a little bit of a struggle to get them on. They're the type of jean where you kind of wiggle them. Like you wiggle them up and they fit like a glove once they're on. These are super cute and will go with so many different outfits. If you wanna dress it up or dress it down, these are a great jean to do that. Okay, so next up we have the dad high rise jeans. I haven't really had much experience with the dad jeans. I have with the mom jeans. I definitely have tried a ton of those and some of those are my absolute favorite like from American Eagle, the curvy stretch mom jean has my heart. Uh, but these ones I was really interested to try. Um, I've tried dad jeans from Target, really liked them. I'm so curious as to how the Abercrombie ones would measure up. I'm pulling these ones on as you can see and they have a button fly um, in the front and a lot of people don't like the button fly. I actually really like them because I actually feel like they provide even more structure and more hold in the midsection than a zipper fly does So that is why I kind of like them even though they are a little bit of a struggle to kind of do up every time you Need to I don't know under your jeans either way I am surprised at how much I actually really like these jeans. So they're coming at a pretty good length for me They're coming down to the floor for a 30 long, I actually feel like I'm getting more length with these ones than for instance, the 90s ones that I had on. They come down a little bit longer, which I, I really like. I actually think they look nice even with this bodysuit. I think these are great. They also come up nice and high rise. They're not as high as that ultra high rise, but they're definitely not a mid rise or anything close like the skinny jean. These ones are a true just run-of-the-mill high-rise jean. Again, more of a rigid style jean, but you can feel the stretch and you can feel it conforming to your curves. And that is definitely the curve love. I feel like that's where it gives you those extra room, extra inches in the hip and thigh area to where you're not feeling kind of like 
sucked in and like you can't move in your jeans these ones move with you and I kind of show that where I do like a little bit of the squat test and bending at the knee no problem at all if you are someone that wants something different you have all the jeans in the wardrobe like your skinny jeans your mom jeans your straight jeans and you want to try a dad jean I think these are a great option okay so next up we have the mom high rise and these ones are probably my least favorite of this haul just because I don't think the like front of these jeans are as flattering as the others. I have a pair of their mom jeans in a different wash. I'll link them down below as well because they are such a nice jean. Love, love, love the way that they fit and hug the curves. These ones, however, I just feel like highlight right here right right around there and I feel like it's also the wash so I think if I had have gotten something that was that more of like the medium to light wash I would have been much happier but I wanted just to try something different these are a button fly and you can actually see the button so there's an exposed button fly and then they are a high rise so they're coming up nice and high on me they aren't however too long which I am shocked at um, I just feel like again Abercrombie, for some reason, I feel like in some of their jeans are just not that long, even if you get them in a long. And I can't stress this enough, if you are anything like 5'7 or over, go with the long. You will definitely be happy you did. Uh, but these ones, overall, they've got a raw hem at the bottom of the jean. They are a nice kind of like fit from the behind like I feel like they hug the bum nicely they make it look nice and lifted and again we're not getting any of the gapping in the waist which is amazing um, but again I just don't think these are the most flattering on me uh, so I feel like I felt better in the other jeans but if you disagree just let me know but I feel like we're gonna be on the same page we usually are um, so yeah these are the mom jean they are a high-rise I do have an old navy jean haul coming up soon as well where I'm gonna have some uh, mid-rise jeans as well so keep an eye out for that but I just didn't have any luck finding my size with any of their mid-rise styles so um, yeah that is the mom jean so that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to film and I loved sharing with you all of the different styles today, but let me know which one was your favorite. Please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always so curious to know. And of course, let me know if there are any other brands that you are interested in me trying, especially for jean reviews. I love to do them. I love to try on different jeans from different brands and compare them. So definitely don't be shy, let me know. And of course, if you haven't already, please do remember to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out me and my channel. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at Olivia Frida Curves on both of those channels. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having the best day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.